Good morning, Miles here from Miles More Members, reporting to you live in my spare room in my Christmas jumper. I'll tell you what's funny about this Christmas jumper, it's actually a ladies, don't tell anyone. Um, no, it really is. Um, last Christmas uh, I was shopping with my girlfriend and there were no men's jumpers. So I went in and tried on a large ladies and um, with due respect to large ladies, I promise, it fits. So um, <laughs> that's why I got it. Um, today's video is really short and simple, but it's about standing out. Um, you know, if I cared so much about what people think of me, um, I wouldn't be wearing a ladies Christmas jumper, especially not on camera. That would be ridiculous. But within reason, I don't. Um, I mean, I do care what people think. Of course I do, because often there are times where we need to care what people think because their feedback is relevant, can add value and can help us to change and improve. But there are times when you don't need to care what people think. And those times I'm talking about specifically are when you're out promoting your health club. Now, if I was, uh, I'm not the owner of a health club yet but if I were an owner of a health club it being Christmas season right now I would be in fancy dress appropriate to Christmas on the local high street visiting businesses dressed as stupidly as possible to draw as much attention to me as possible why because the fact is if you are wanting your health club to grow you want people to notice you now you may think that you want people to just notice your club and not actually physically notice you doesn't work like that advertising we've all seen you know newspaper advertising within reason it works but it's it, it's not a it's not a consistent financially viable um, marketing method in my belief whereas going out to your local high street and visiting businesses dressed as santa claus or mrs claus if you're a female club owner is is it's a no-brainer it costs you the costume and the flyers to have printed to take out but do you know what it does more importantly? It shows that you're different. It shows that you uh, care enough to make yourself look stupid. That's why people love comedians and people that are funny on television because in actual fact, they are often um, laughing at themselves and people love self-deprecating humour. A friend of mine once said to me that vulnerability is our greatest asset. Now just think about that for a second vulnerability is our greatest asset basically means the more open and honest and vulnerable that you can be <clears throat> the more likely people are to like you you know I just put um, a message out yesterday saying that it's a year today that I left my day job and it's been scary it's been really scary um, there's been some times where it's it's really sort of challenged my self-belief and I remember the day I left my day job and I was kind of crying in my bathroom I didn't really know what I was going to do but I'm still here you know and and the interest in Miles More Members has grown and if you're a person that's worked with me so far then I thank you for that because you've contributed to it but the fact is um, nothing starts until we first just face our fears and step out of our comfort zone and you know that once you're out of your comfort zone you feel completely different you know all of a sudden you've created a new comfort zone and your confidence level has risen so my challenge to you, like my um, newsletter on Monday, is just, just get out there. Just grab a costume, get out there and visit some businesses. Tell them who you are, tell them what you're about. And if you really do want someone to hold your hand, then just invite me up and I'll come up there and, and sort of, and I'll do the day for you. Um, I already sent out an email on Monday saying that, you know, first five clubs that come forward, but I'm happy to honour that. I'm happy to extend it if there are other clubs out there that are interested in me doing that. It's got to be done before Christmas and we've got to take action on it within the next couple of weeks and uh, three clubs have already come forward. So if you're looking to do that, then um, then get in touch, let me know. But aside from that, once you've read this, seriously, once you've read this, think about Look at the watch and think, right, have I got an hour today to just go and buy a fancy dress costume and just spend half an hour visiting some businesses? If you're not willing to do that or someone at your club who's in your staff isn't willing to do that, then my gut feeling is there's, there's, there's priorities out of order because your fundamental goal is for your business to thrive and your business to grow. And if going and doing that is not considered a, a, a business growth method, then I don't really know what is. If you haven't yet downloaded my um, audio book, uh, you know, I had some problems uh, getting it across to, to certain people. I've now uploaded it into a different format. 
as well, uh, you know, I said last week that that was it. I wouldn't send any more downloads on that. There's been a lot of interest and a lot of people downloading it. But if you would like it, um, it is just me for two and a half hours talking to you about how to sell without salespeople. And by that, I mean, it's not really about selling. It's about connecting with people in here. And that's all the audio is really about. But it will share with you some real theoretical ways that you can connect with your target audience uh, when they're you know, not so receptive to joining on the day. And I think that the I, I think arguably if you apply the principles in the in the in the, the audio training manual, it will net you, uh, you know, an additional maybe one, two, three thousand pounds gross income a month. It is that the potential is there for it to be that useful. But it's whether you apply it or not. And that's the difference. There are gym owners on my list who are hopefully you who listen to the things that I give them. They apply the principles and they are getting results. You only have to look at my YouTube channel to see what people have said about the work that we do. And then there are those of you that are probably watching this video now and won't do anything after it. If that's you, that's fine. But I'm just asking you to, at the very least, think about why, why, what's stopping you. Like what's stopping you? Not from working with me, but from just going out and doing something different. What's stopping you? Is it fear? If it's fear, then just get over it. Everyone's scared. So do something different. Do something different today. Christmas is a peak time. People are in the best frame of mind to be open and receptive to joining a club and having a conversation about their fitness goals. So get out there and do it today. Have a brilliant day and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.